Dervianchenko needed. Oh, and another solid eye-catching punches. Big overhand right. And Dervianchenko. <laughs> he finally did first one. Wow. Dom is doing good work putting putting together his best combination. Joey punches. The overhand right was a big weapon. And Dervianchenko wow. had his He's moments. There's the a beautiful yeah. straight right hand. Uppercuts early in the fight. Then Dervianchenko was able suffered the fights only knocked down the first of his career that he has faced to this point. And for Dervianchenko, in October, he arose from a first round knockdown in 2018. And if he does get a fourth chance, he will make the most of it as we go. Jumping into a new weight class against a tough cookie. His record stands at 20 wins, one loss. Adame! He has 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Derek Yanchenko. Professionals, I expect you to conduct yourself as such. Touch gloves, good luck. Well, round one, I mentioned Derek Adamas, who normally switches sometimes from righty to lefty against Jamal Charlo, losing that as well. And, and Al, your punches together and, you know, possibly even hurt Derbychenko as among many others came up with the interesting game plan. For him. But again, Abner making the most or wanting to make the most of Adamas to start as a lefty, but they said they were caught him with the overhand right as well. In top 10 at 154 by the Bible of Boxing Ring Magazine. Second fight he's had with Adamas, and uh, let's see how. Mm, beautiful straight. Combinations. He's an excellent combination puncher. That'll come. He's got a terrific uppercut, and that will work once there's a chance. You know who's really tired in the Adamas family? His I mean, literally, and one and scrapping for scraps, Al. Yeah. Beginning to open up on Derbianchenko, going to the body. Punches are, are put a great distance. Oh, it catches Punches, uh, but he faded in the later rounds. So now he's just waiting for the right time. A spirited scrap. Trying to get back on track, and now Derbianchenko. And just to put a bow on it, 11 of the 35 kids. Derbianchenko needed. Oh, and another solid. Big left hook by a turn pro at 28. And he is in the jab from Adamas. Trying to throw a lead. And that's what happened uh, in that fight where he lost. He got tired. The Ukrainian Olympian who did with that right hand in his tracks. But wow, what a fight. What a round. Started faster. He's been forced to by Carlos Adamas. What a second round. The right uppercut, we talked about that in the keys to victory. A little bit. Using that jab, landing a straight right hand. He it's assault followed by a Sergei surge, and here we are. A man who many believe is the best fighter never to have won a champion in this fight. Abner, the right uppercut, and there it is again by back to righty. And lands right. with the right hand. Can I see what, you know, Adamas is doing? <laughs> Power punches and Dervianchenko. Oh, 35 percent on it for him. He's got to get on the inside, which he will again. Trust me. 54 pound title is Brian Castaño as they both dig to great distance. Adamas, although, gets countered with the right hook in that left hand, and he was trying to, and he lands a jab and a hook in the forward. Oh, left hook to the body lands. The Adamas jab has been effective when he's... We close out the third round with Derby and Chenko. Uh, Luis Arias, who recently beat Jared Hurd at Hurd. Let's go to Jim Gray. How much did sparring with Sean Porter, who's much bigger? My preparation by, you know, giving me my confidence and things like that. I'm a person that, you know, always, you know, um, take every... You know, I'm well prepared to go out to a round. Thank you, look for... Chenko detonating on each other here to kick off round four. Way on the inside. Adamas started to make a statement at 160. He has the opportunity when Adamas gives it to him right there. And so is Adamas. Now. Adamas. Uh, uh,
A little bit of everything on display through four rounds. Stay off the ropes. He's been in the center of the ring, and you don't give Dervianchenko. Dervianchenko, we talked about him trying to use that not so much as a big... Yeah, it's, it's hard to stay inside because Adam is just getting... Said he had to prove people wrong at 147, proved them wrong at one. Where a fencer trying to set up the big right hand. Lance and Bing. Dervianchenko in his tracks with the jab, and then Dervianchenko... Dervianchenko sticking the jab. A chance to rake you over the coals with those combos when you're in the second. Go and Adamas. And a great right hand. They're both off balance, and that looked like one of the linebackers. And will as he throws the right uppercut. It Dervianchenko's been living in boxing tonight. You know, he's picking his shots really well. Uh, Especially Dervianchenko, but some dazzling defense on the make things tough for Adamas, but Adamas. And this has been the kind of round Dervin Trinkle. Man, both of them. Adamus knew he had to get out of there, and he did fight. But he knows how important this fight is. He speaks about his to his power, so we expected Fistic Fireworks and bombs in Los Angeles. Rated footwork, but now he has to use his feet to get away from the rope. Beautiful double left hook. And a, yeah, beautiful jump. No. Well, you got to take those chances if you're Dervinchenko. Ten of Dervinchenko's big punches, but boy, Dervinchenko's close to landing. Dervinchenko known for his durability. The fight, and you have to. Dervinchenko being warned by the ref here in the fifth. And here's where Dervinchenko sets up. And, and that's what Dervinchenko has to do. He has to go in forward, creating mistakes by staying on the ropes. Whoa. A different variety of punches. Both of them exchanging hellacious shots! Picked any spot and found like this. You understand me? Yeah. Give me the angle. You gotta give me angles. You're doing great. You're doing great. So Just remember that back Eagle. foot. Gary Stark Jr., 62-year-old, working with Sir um, Adamas. Throw that uppercut from too far back. Taking small steps, trying to get it within range. Lands the left. He did say it in the later rounds. There, he's hoping not to repeat that. Official score, Steve Farrod. How do you have it after five rounds? But I have 49-46 for Adamas at this point. With him. But for Adamas especially, we mentioned he took, got Bob to make championship money. He's got to be careful with his hand yeah. positioning yep. as Derby Adamas sticks the jab. Usually he starts methodically, didn't do that in his fight. Fighting for their pride, for their family, for their legacy, for some really dictated terms in that first frame. We are now going to round seven. Action, this is round number seven, scheduled for 10, and I believe things are getting closer. Let him go, let him and go. And the question downs. Did you hear me on a Sunday? <laughs> see? It's there Sunday. Go. Football yes. on the ground. Yes. You don't see it. You don't see it. This guy does not show it. He, can't go. he needed to get in there and work hard. And I don't know. I mentioned I thought Adamas maybe was getting a little fatigued against the fighter who we know has had stamina issues in major. In a, at a pretty good rate. Adamas and, landing at a better rate. And the gap closed. Tried a little bit more. So, uh, again, neither man is thrown. Got him with a left hook is with 30 has knockouts in the eighth and twelfth fight. Oh, what a right cross that landed. Man, I Adamus. Bianchenko using the stick more as he absorbed another left mark. You know, I talked about the clinching, grabbing, you know, that's the way. Now Adamus has you know in this round has been of his hands and their position. Take some air. Look at my face. You can't take this guy out? When the referee breaks, one step. Don't give him time to set up. Uh, he wants to make sure he doesn't repeat that. No jab. Jab to the body by Dervianchenko. Dervianchenko has been vied for a championship on three different... Let him go, let him go, let him go. Nice right uppercut on the inside. Side there. He's kind of giving the space to a good sequence for Dervianchenko. Let's see if he can repeat that. Dervianchenko for the most part, but Adamas has done some good work as well. Oh, battle, and he's used to being in tough battle there. Uh, Adamas, but you know the referee's not saying anything. But Gary Stark Jr. telling Dervianchenko, we need these final rounds. But fired that right hand downstairs, and, uh, and now 
Adama showcasing that boxing. No more way. Creating some space, but just momentary. It's a fairly close round. Could easily have gone to Adamas. And that sharp jab by Adamas, but yet still the coach of Cuba's Guantanamo amateur team is Derby and Adamas doing a good job of boxing lead left hook that comes. He's looking for a big one to get in there. And there, there's a double left. And then later in the round, again, the right hand would get in. Uh, Don't give him room to fight. Stay close to him. Work. He felt his power would prove to be the difference, Ken. And there being checked. Senko, he plays his punches really good. Adamas with the 20 seconds of round nine. Jab by Dervianchenko. And Adamas coming forward again. Telling them to keep it clean, and boy, they can he can show us some of that. Yeah, and he gets in some place <laughs> there. He finally did first one. Wow, goes extra two rounds. And oh, he Adama's did. been doing a great job of defending against a lot of these four, being countered by Adamas. Yeah, when he uses that hook. Ironically, as we look at Steve's on the first. There, and Dermianchenko lands, and here comes Adama. Again, this fight. And defense. Adamas. Oh. Not an amateur fight, so they know boxing, but we against the sheriff. Of course, this one's scheduled for 10. Chenko, especially on the inside where he wants to be. But based on just everything that's going on here, he. Adamas closes this, this the rounds really well. This 10th and final round of what has been a great. We got a rumble, touch him up, but I want to see a lot of bravas. Yeah, that's a, and but what does Adamas do? He lands his own number 10. How competitive has the fight been? Uh, very interesting at the end of this one. Adamas has been down just once. That came in his lone lot. Sergey Dervianchenko. Aggressive uh, fighter knowing that, you know, he needs to pressure. Oh, the holding tactic because he doesn't want it. Let Dervianchenko get these combinations and try to find a way to punch. Punches thrown by Adamas, 495. And Adamas, a lot of close rounds in the last three rounds. Adamas comfortable in the corner, but gets clipped with the right and left. And he Adamas coming up to 160, ranked in the top here. The 27-year-old. Part of the story, not all of it, is that right hand landed for Adamas, but they, they could be pivotal ones. Seeing his uh, defense while Dervianchenko wants to put together. Dervianchenko oh. bear. Uh, yeah, right. 16 fights as a pro, but he's fought them all. Now look at the numbers. They're pretty close in terms yeah, of what was left. Yeah, well. body shots. Dervinchenko doing a little bit better job down. I remember as a left-hander, and that uppercut, which he let Joey punches. The overhand right was a big weapon, and Dervinchenko to be a very worthy middleweight against one of the best. His best friends, but we'll find out tonight if what he did was enough. Go to the scorecards. We have a majority decision. Here the score. Damian Walton sees it 96 to 94. Oh, Dominic! Andre Roger, it's hard for him to, to deal with this disappointment, but... I want to thank my team. I also want to thank uh, uh, Devinchenko for the fight.